Hey, welcome to Healthy Hearing Loss. My name is Dee Dee. Today is the fourth video of a series of videos I've been doing for medical professionals that are looking for ways to connect to various devices so that they can hear better. And mainly I've been trying to focus on how to connect directly to the hearing aid. We're also going to be talking about without the hearing aid. So this could be for hearing people. This can also be for people who have like mild hearing loss. So today is going to be about the Think Lab stethoscope connecting through Bluetooth. All right, if you're interested, stay tuned. To let you guys know, I have put time codes in the description below and also at the bottom of the video, if you want to click on different topics and you just want to get right to that, go for it. All right, to get to the video, of course, disclaimer, I am not being sponsored. I have paid for everything on this video and I'm just sharing my experience and research with you. And I wanted to go ahead and revisit the features of the Things Lab stethoscope. So I'm going to see you at the computer. I'm going to bring up the website and we'll just go over the features again. Okay, so we're at the computer. Let's go ahead and jump on the website. I'm going to keep myself at the corner so that you can see me. All right, this is the Think Labs One digital stethoscope website. On the left side, you can see the picture of the stethoscope itself. It's pretty nice looking. Underneath that, you can see that is the smallest, most powerful stethoscope in the world. It fits in the palm of your hand, as I'll demonstrate here. Pretty nice. And it amplifies over a hundred times and uses audio headphones, you can do telemedicine with it, you can use it at, at a safe distance for auscultation, especially wearing full PPE. You can watch that video on your own, it's pretty cool. And then under that, it has just plug in and practice. This is the earbuds that they supply with your Thinks Lab box when you buy it. They have the introducing the Think Link, and I haven't used this yet, but it says record and share sounds like never before using your iPhone, iPad, Android, or Mac PC. Open up a world of possibilities for telemedicine, education, research, and electronic medical records. So that's something I'm going to look into a little bit later. Uses mobile app. Uh, this is some of the pictures of where, how the one is worn by practitioners. And then this picture right here is zero to HZ, which means Hertz, and that's your frequency range. That's your low pitches, your high pitches. And then from a, right at the bottom is zero to 10, that's your volume level. And then going down a little bit further, it's a rechargeable battery. It's a lithium battery and one to two charges a week with a typical workload designed for 100 to 125 patient exams per charge. And that is true. I have definitely found that. All right, let's get back on to the video and we'll return to go over how to find the Bluetooth adapter. So we're talking about the Things Lab stethoscope, this little small guy, pretty shiny, nice looking. It's versatile, so you can connect it to earbuds, headphones, loudspeaker, streamers, hearing aids, and this guy has a hundred times amplification. So it's super cool for people who have hearing loss and need that little, mm. the bell in the diaphragm are right on the face of the Things Lab and you just control it with hitting these little buttons and this side is the bell and this side is the diaphragm. You have a volume at the bottom and it goes from zero to 10 and you can go back and forth and adjust those volumes. In the middle it has the hertz and the hertz is all about about the frequency if you want high pitches or low pitches you can control it right on the face it does have cancellation if you press on the stethoscope against the skin it does kind of occlude it so you can get rid of background noise that's something i found out there are different adapters that you can do so that two people can listen at the same time on one stethoscope it has an automatic shut off and i have mine set for two minutes but you can go up to 10 minutes you can use alcohol swabs to clean the diaphragm itself and the body itself just can't put it in soap and water that's 
that type of thing. Just use alcohol pads. And I think their customer support is really, really good. The cost of the Thinks Lab is pretty hefty, $499. But you know what? I think it's worth it because it's a nice device and it does 100 times amplification. So I'm pretty happy with it. All right, let's get to the Bluetooth connectivity. We're going to get back onto the website and I'm going to show you where to find this Bluetooth adapter. It's called a Hagibus. Go and jump on the computer and I'll show you how to find it. Okay, we're back at the computer. Let's jump on the website. Here it is, Think Labs One Digital Stethoscope. You can go ahead and put thinkslab.com right into the browser and this is where it will bring you. And from here, where you want to go is at the top banner over to the right, you'll see this thing called the Think Lab Store and it's blue. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to bring you to the main page where the Think Lab Store lives. And this is the stethoscope for $199. We're going to go right up to accessories right up here. So if you go ahead and click on that, scroll down and you'll see the Bluetooth transmitter. It's $50. Go ahead and click on that. And this will give you some pictures. You can see how it looks here, as well as a picture of the Thinks Lab that's actually attached to the adapter itself. And then I wanted to show you this. This is where I wanted to kind of point your attention to is right here. Not for use with hearing aids or mobile phones. This device does not pair with mobile phones, hearing aids or hearing aid streamers right here. So this is something that I wanted to just point out to you. So, you know, when we talk about it a little bit more in the video, you understand where I got that from. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you the actual adapter and it's called the Hagibus. This is the adapter. Let me go ahead and make myself full screen so you can see how big it is compared to my hand. And then this is the box that actually came with it. And you can see that it has a red one and a black one. I got the black one. I would have preferred a red one, but I didn't get that. And this is the logo right up here and it says Hagibus. It's very small, so you can't really see it. All right, so that's it. Let's get back to the video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to connect the Think Labs digital stethoscope to the Bluetooth adapter called the Hagibus. And with these, you can connect to a loudspeaker. That's the first thing we're gonna cover. And you can also connect it to wireless earbuds. You can also connect it to headphones, but I don't have a pair of wireless headphones that have Bluetooth in it. So I won't be covering it in this video. I wish I did because I love headphones, but again, it makes my ears whistle. Then I'm gonna show you how to connect it to your hearing aids if they have Bluetooth. I do have to remind you that according to the website, if we go back here, it says not for use with hearing aids or mobile phones. This device does not pair with mobile phone, hearing aids, or hearing aid streamers. I haven't found that to be true because I can connect it to my hearing aid. We're going to first start off with the loudspeaker and we need to connect the Thinks Lab to the loudspeaker. And the only way to do that, of course, is the adapter. Adapter. Let's do an unbox of the adapter. The Bluetooth adapter, Hagibus. All right, it's pretty tough to open. You have to like wiggle it. There we go. All right, I got it. Has a little box. Of course, it has a little uh, user manual right inside. All right, so there it is. Mine is the black one. I guess they have a red one, but they didn't give that one to me. All right, so let me take this out, get rid of the box. So this is what it looks like. And of course you saw it on the website as well. We're gonna first connect it to the Thinks Lab, just like this. Okay, so that's what it is. I'm going to connect it to a loudspeaker and I have a loudspeaker here. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this the best I can all by myself. I wish I had an assistant, but I don't. I'm gonna turn it on. There it is, turned on. And then I'm gonna go ahead, hit the Bluetooth button. I'm gonna hit that Bluetooth button right down here to see if we can get connected. So it's blinking. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my stethoscope, just like that, it's blinking. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Hagibus Bluetooth adapter. You'll see that it will start to blink, but I'm gonna hold it until you start to see a blinking blue light. And then it's going to try to pair with the speaker. And it's pairing, I think, there it is. It made that noise, so that means that it's pairing 
it's paired with didn't like that. It doesn't like to get close. <laughs> All right. See that? I'm going to pick this up. Wicked loud again, right? Just like my last video. It like shakes my house. Maybe I'll turn it down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Still loud, but that's okay. I'm going to pick this up so that you can see it. And I'm actually going to bring it closer to me. It does want to whistle. So here we go. Got the speaker off to my left. And then I have the stethoscope off to my right. And it's paired and it's on and it's going. And you can hear all kinds of noise. So let's do this. I'm going to put my mic near the speaker. Can you hear that? hold my breath so you know here yeah, listen to my breath hard to show you on this thing but I had an assistant that would do that from across the room maybe I'll ask my husband to come in and help me out in the meantime there you go I'm gonna turn this off so that's it that's the thanks lab stethoscope being transmitted through a Bluetooth adapter called the Hagabus going through the speaker through Bluetooth okay so that's one way you can use it and that would be for more like teaching purposes and, and if you want to share sounds with your colleagues or something it's great for students next thing we're going to do is I have to make sure everything's turned off so that we can connect to earbuds. Now the earbuds I wouldn't use typically because I would have to take my hearing aids out and go for the whole thing like that but I'm not going to do that especially in the work setting. I don't want to be like telling my patient I'm sorry you know I know you're having trouble breathing but I just want you to hold on while I take my hearing aids out and put some you know pair with the headphones or the earbuds and then to the thing flap and then I can listen to you Go to the hospital. All right, so let's do this. So we have now Things Labs and the adapter connected. And I have a pair of earbuds. They're not mine. They're my husband. I stole them. They're called the MPOW, M-P-O-W. I'll, I'll put it in the description below if you want to check these out. They're wireless. They're Bluetooth wireless earbuds, okay? So I have these in an angle going down. So they also have a right side and a left side on here somewhere. I'm going to put it around my neck. I'm going to lift them hanging down onto my chest like this. And I'm going to go ahead and try to pair it with the Hagabus. A couple of things I have to do. I have to find the right button. The face of the right side has a nice shiny blue button right there and that is what I'm going to hold to turn on Bluetooth and then I'm going to see this little blinking light that tells me that the Bluetooth is blinking and then I'm going to go ahead and turn on my stethoscope and then hold on to the Hagabus until it starts to flash and then get it really close so that these will pair. And they're pairing. So now I'm just going to put this up to my hearing aid. There it is. All right so that's connected. I'm going to put this down quietly because I still have it on. I'm going to try it without my hearing aids. So I'm going to turn them off so you don't have to listen to my whistling. There we go. So take those out. Make myself pretty. I'm going to try these just for the sake of argument here. Put these in. Wrap these guys around the back of my ear. And there you go. I have these things here. I have the stethoscope. I can hear it. Yep. I have it pretty low. I only have it to like number three on here. I'm going to turn it up higher and see if I can make. Okay. I can hear it. I can hear it a little bit. I'm going to go all the way to 10. That's a hundred times amplification. I can hear the hot sound a little bit, but not enough for me to feel confident if I wanted to hear murmurs. Not the lung sound for wheezes, rails, and wrong guys. So I wouldn't use these, but this is how you would use them. Isn't that pretty? So you could just carry these around your neck, put this in your pocket, and use it that way. So that's another way of doing it. All right, so I'm going to turn everything off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put back on my hearing aids, and I'll put them in, and I also have to turn them on. There they are. I can hear again. Oh, the birds are so nice. Now we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is off. The loudspeaker's off. Even the earbuds, you want to make sure those are off because they're pretty much still connected to the Hagabus. Turn this off until it just blinks off. It's off. I'm going to turn off my hearing aids. That's how I have to connect through Bluetooth. So in order to do that connectivity, I have to turn my hearing aids off, turn on whatever is Bluetooth, and then turn them on, and then they will automatically connect. It's streamless. It's like really fast and easy, but you do need to have the hearing aids off. I have the Phonics Paradise. There's a line of Phonics hearing aids. I have the Paradise that has rechargeable batteries as well as Bluetooth on them.
I have the thickness lab stethoscope and my Hagibus connected. Everything is off. My hearing aid's off. My thinks lab is off and my Hagibus is off. First thing I'm going to do is turn on my thinks lab. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Hagibus, the Bluetooth adapter, until it starts to blink blue. It's doing that. I'm just going to put that down slowly and I'm going to turn on my hearing aids. Get really close. Put it up to my hearing aid to make sure it's connected. Looking at the Hagibus and it looks like I'm connected. There it is. I'm connected through my hearing aid. Thanks lab stethoscope through the Hagibus Bluetooth adapter directly to my hearing aids that have Bluetooth in them. So I can hear in this stethoscope. Put it up to my chest. Listen. I can hear it. I can hear my voice. E. A. 99. 99. 99. I don't have pneumonia. Anyway. <laughs> So there you go. That's what I have. It's connected. This is the way to do it. There is a delay because it is Bluetooth. So I would not use this for blood pressures. I wouldn't be able to see the sphygmometer dial go down in a timely fashion. So I wouldn't use this for blood pressure. Once you get the heart sound, lap up, lap up, lap. Yep. So I can hear that and I can't listen to my lung sounds. Where is my assistant? So it does connect to Bluetooth hearing aids. So the website says it does not connect and I'm telling you it does. I am not endorsing whether you should use this method or not. Okay. So you can try this and see if it works for you, but if it doesn't, if it's too cumbersome or you find that it's not effective, don't blame me. I'm, an I'm not endorsing this either way. I just wanted to show you that you can connect this to Bluetooth hearing aids. All right. That's it for this video. If you like this content, go ahead and tap on that like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button as well so that you'll know about future videos. I plan to make some good ones. All right. See you soon. Bye.